A boat traveled 210 miles downstream and back. The trip downstream took 10 hours. The trip back took 70 hours. What is the speed of the boat in still water? What is the speed of the current? So, different ways that you could think about this problem. Um, but, you know, we're going downstream and then back upstream. And we know that it's 210 miles both, both ways. And we know that the trip downstream took 10 hours and the trip back took 70 hours. And then we know that the rate downstream, you're being helped by the current, and upstream slowed down by the current. And then there are different ways you could go about this problem. Um, you can tell, you know, remember that distance equals rate times time, which means that rate is equal to distance divided by time. So one way to think about it is that you know that downstream it's 210 divided by 10. So you know that this must be 21 miles per hour. Um, or you can just set it up into the equation and algebraically solve what I just explained. So distance equals rate times time for that one. And then similarly for the upstream, 210 equals x minus y times 70. And so for both of these, you would first want to divide by the time. And so dividing by 10, you get that. Dividing by 70, you get that. And these are the two equations that I'd want to solve. Uh, so I'm going to add these two equations together, which would give me this. So x would be 12, and x, I uh, had said that x was the speed of the boat in still water, and then y is the speed of the current that's helping as the boat goes downstream and slowing down as the boat goes upstream. So we just found the speed of the boat in still water is 20 miles per hour, and plug back in. Um, to either equation, and you would see that means that the speed of the current must be 9 miles per hour.